the Forum was the centre of political and public life in Imperial Rome, a grandiose district of temples and monuments epitomising the decadence of the Roman Empire. Situated in a valley between the Palatine and Capitol Hills, the Forum today is a sprawling mass of ruins. Jumbled blocks of ancient marble lie strewn across the site. Temples where the rich and powerful of Rome's elite once congregated have decayed and crumbled. The Forum was built on inhospitable marshland and first developed in the 7th century BC. Beginning as a marketplace, during its peak, the Forum was the economic, political and religious centre of Rome and a majority of the structures were built during the reign of Julius Caesar and his successor, Augustus. Its importance declined in the 4th century AD and as time passed it was abandoned. During the Middle Ages it became a pasture for sheep and cattle, which gave it the nickname Campo Vecino, the cattle field. Excavations began in the 18th century, but it was not until the early 20th century that the area was excavated fully. Entering from the east, you first pass the Arch of Titus. Erected in AD 81 by the Emperor Domitian in honour of the victories of his brother Titus and his father Vespasian in Jerusalem in AD 70. The eastern side of the Forum is dominated by the ruins of the Basilica of Maxentius and Constantine, the largest building of the Forum. Further along the Via Sacra, which was once the main street of the Forum, is the Temple of Romulus a domed building from the 4th century. One of its most striking features is its green bronze door, which at around 1700 years old has survived numerous disasters and the sacking of Rome by the Visigoths. It was probably dedicated to Romulus, the son of Emperor Maxentius, and was converted to a Christian church in the Middle Ages. Next to it is the Temple of Antoninus and Faustina, built by Emperor Antoninus Pius in honour of his late wife Faustina in AD 141. On the Emperor's death, the temple was then rededicated to the two of them. In the 11th century, it was converted to a Roman Catholic church known as San Lorenzo in Miranda, as it was believed that St. Lawrence had been sentenced to death here. On the south side of the Via Sacra is the Temple of Vesta, one of the most elegant temples in the Forum, and also one of the oldest in Rome, dating from AD 191. It was here that the fire sacred to Vesta, the goddess of the household hearth, had to be kept perennially burning, the responsibility of which was given to six Vestal virgins. As soon as a girl became a Vestal, she would live in the house of the Vestal Virgins. Once an enormous complex with around 50 rooms, all that remains now are a few rooms around a courtyard. Overlooking a pond are weathered statues, many of which are now headless, dating from around the 3rd and 4th centuries. The Vestals were the only group of women priests in Rome, and keeping the flame alight was no easy task. If any one of them allowed it to go out, they would be flogged by the high priest and then dismissed. The cult of Vesta is one of the oldest in Rome. Chosen between the ages of six and ten years old from patrician families, they were required to stay in the order for thirty years, respecting a vow of chastity. penalty for ignoring this was to be buried alive, while the penalty for the offender was to be flogged to death. When Vestals retired, they were allowed to live their life as they wished, and even marry, although few ever did.
At the northwest end of the Forum is the 23-metre tall arch of Septimius Severus. It was dedicated in AD 203 to commemorate the victories of Emperor Septimius Severus and his two sons, Caracalla and Geta, against the Parthenia in AD 195 and AD 199. Next to it is the Temple of Saturn, the eight surviving columns of which stand next to the three columns of the Temple of Vespasian. One of the most prominent ruins in the whole Forum, the Temple of Saturn was originally erected in 497 BC and was completely rebuilt in 42 BC. It was also the site of the Republican Roman treasury. Just in front of this is the Rostrum, a public speaker's platform, originally built in the 4th century BC and is famous for being the place where Shakespeare had Mark Antony make his Friends, Romans, Countrymen speech. Located at the edge of the main square of the Forum are the remains of the Basilica Julia, which was begun by Julius Caesar and finished by Augustus. At the end of the basilica are the three Corinthian columns of the Temple of Castor and Pollux.